Welcome everyone to the Gamer Guide channel. Today we're going to be doing a guide on how to upgrade your weapons, ships, exocrafts, and freighter uh, with supercharge slots and the best techniques to use. And then we'll be actually checking out some of the upgrades on ships, uh, weapons, uh, exocrafts uh, that we can in the game and see how they perform differently. Uh, first thing I'm going to start with is some ships. So uh, as you can see, the supercharged slots have kind of a light purple glow. They're a little hard to see at first, uh, but right here I'm realizing uh, when upgrading that the best thing to do is to actually put your weapon on the supercharged slot and not the upgrade modules uh, if you're in a ship. Uh, there's an exception when you're um, in an exocraft, but for ships you want to always put your weapon on the actual upgrade supercharge module instead of the uh, enhanced upgrades to get a bigger effect. So as you saw there earlier, I was at 6,661. Now I'm at 10,526, and all I did was just put the photon cannon on the supercharge slot, the positron ejector on the other supercharge slot, and uh, got some insane improvement in uh, performance. Uh, moving things around a little bit more here, also uh, get a huge chunk, a huge improvement when you put your missiles directly on the supercharge slot, a couple more thousand damage which is great when you want to hit uh, area effect targets. Uh, so let's go ahead and we'll upgrade the golden vector next. We're going to use the same method on this one too. Uh, we're going to come in here and if we have uh, supercharged slots together, first we want to put the weapon on the supercharged slot if that's what you want to upgrade and then next to it, if it has another supercharged slot, then we want to go ahead and put an upgrade. Uh, let me move stuff around here a little bit, but you can see 35,992. I'm actually going to lower that a little bit. Uh, I'm going to keep the weapon on the supercharge slot, but I actually want to have a little bit better maneuverability. So as you can see, I put two of the upgrades um, for maneuverability on pulse engines on the cheaper supercharge slot. So as far as movement goes, it's the opposite. You want to put the upgrade um, on the supercharged slot and not the pulse engine and not the warp drive or the actual module itself. So just the opposite for movement. For weapons you put the weapon type on the supercharged slot but for movement you will put the upgrades on the supercharged slot. So as you can see I got 2303 which is great. Uh, that's the fastest ship I've created thus far. So I'm just taking it out for a spin real quick. Um, Previously, before the supercharged slots, I was getting maybe 13, 14 at the tops for ships, especially fighters and stuff, but now I've basically added a thousand, uh, or almost doubled what I can get uh, just by putting a couple of the X-Class upgrades next to each other on the supercharged slots. So I'm not sure if everybody's golden vector is going to be the same as far as where the placement for the slots are. Uh, but yeah, it's a huge improvement as far as uh, maneuverability. I heard some people saying that you know they couldn't quite get to where they were before, but in my experience, I've been able to surpass um, what I was able to get before as far as maneuverability stats and warp stats uh, without the supercharge slots. So now that the supercharge slots are here, um, I'm really surpassing what I was able to get before. And uh, now you should be able to get most ships over uh, 2,000 if it's a uh, fighter or a solar sailor or an explorer. Uh, those should be pretty easy to get over 2,000 if you, uh, I should say, I shouldn't say easy, but if you want to min-max and get all the S-class or X-class upgrades and uh, do your due diligence, you can get most ships over 2,000 maneuverability. So yeah, pretty fast. Let's take a look here real quick at the exotic uh, Nautilus Allure, and I'm just going to kind of look at the same thing here. We're just putting uh, the upgrades basically on the supercharge slot, not the pulse engine. And I was able to get 2388.8, which is also great. It's even better than the last ship. And um, yeah, we'll check it out. See, so again, we put the actual weapon on the supercharge slot instead of the upgrades, and we got a huge difference. So if we move it up here, you can see it's only 7,714. Uh, peak damage, and then when you put it on the supercharge slot, 23,451. So it's like more than, it's almost four times, basically, what it is without being on a supercharge slot. So huge damage uh, improvement. You want to do the same thing with shields, too. So it doesn't work as good as you see um, putting an upgrade on the supercharge slot. You want to put the shield um, right on the supercharge slot and leave the upgrades around it if you only have one. Now, if you have two, of course, you'll put your upgrade on the supercharge slot as well. But that actually gives you um, 
more defense by putting the shield right on the supercharged slot. So there we go. Um, and all the S-Class chips I've checked out so far all have four supercharged slots. Um, where my exosuit upgrades had three. So if you only see three in your suit, uh, don't freak out. That's all I had too, and I've checked uh, several of my save files. So for warp, it's the same um, as pulse. You don't want to put the warp drive right on the supercharged lot. You're going to use the upgrades. Um, and you might be wondering, well, what if I want to put the um, Atlas uh, figurine on it to get a little bit of boost? Is that better than just... Uh, basically sticking your other X-Class right on top of it and even though they're not getting the adjacency bonus um, you can kind of get them grouped up with some of the other upgrades. Well as you can see here it is actually better to put um, the X-Class upgrades or S-Class whatever you have uh, directly on the supercharged slot even if the adjacency bonus isn't touching as you'll end up with more uh, warp than you will if you use like one of the shrines or bonus items to uh, try to min-max. Um, so same sort of thing here for weapons. Um, you see before I was already at like 22,000, but by putting the uh, bolt caster directly on the supercharged slot, I was able to increase it all the way up to 27,000, and now I'm just going to kind of move things around to get even more. So now I'm at 28,033.2. That's insane. That is like twice what I was able to get before uh, with um, the bolt caster on the supercharged slot and one upgrade. So let's see... Um, how that works here in a little bit we'll go fight some sentinels and see how quickly we erase them um, but that's not all uh, we have exocrafts to look at and honestly this is the thing that i'm most excited about um, as it really improved to the exocrafts and um, I, I like it a lot they're a lot faster than they used to be um, so as you see here i'm just kind of checking out what we got um, we're going to move things around here obviously and in my experience on the exocrafts, it's better to put the weapon upgrades on the on the um, supercharged slot and not put the cannon directly on it. Just finishing up the upgrades here, uh, throw the radars back up for their bonus. And uh, we upgraded one of the engine slots, so we got a little bit more of an acceleration boost. And we also upgraded our uh, laser too. So let's take a look here. So we got 43% more top speed instead of 11 uh, top speed on a regular upgrade. So it's again like four times as strong uh, by upgrading. So that should basically, you know, give us a huge boost in what our movement speed was like. And we already had a little uh, movement boost just from before the supercharged slots were implemented. We'll just take it out real quick in the snow. Wow, that was a lot uh, steeper than I thought it was. <laughs> this is, I'm going to blame it on the blizzard. But we have a flying bike at the moment. A bouncing flying bike. But uh, yes, I can already tell that this is much faster uh, than it was before. And uh, you know, if you get lucky with the slots, um, or if you get creative with your configuration, you probably could boost it even more. And this also, I think, is going to make min-maxing for S-Class upgrades on your Exocrafts um, a lot more of a thing. I think people will care more about you know those extra couple percentage. Because when you get the right one and you throw it on the supercharge slot, you're getting four times what the original um, boost was. So that's huge, you know. If you find a 15 maneuverability, um, that's, you know, that's big. That's uh, going to what end up being 60 when you have it installed. So keep your eyes out now for uh, S-Class upgrades for Exocrafts because um, these things are great, man. I mean, they're fast. Um, you can mine right out of them. You know, you don't have to worry about uh, taking damage from the environment. And uh, I'm liking it, man. I already was a fan uh, from my last video you probably saw of me uh, climbing up the sides of mountains with uh, these bikes. Uh, but now with the extra boost enhancement um, and the better mining laser and everything too, uh, it just makes it all the better. Let's see if we can get some air here off the top of this mountain once we get up there. I don't know for every reason why I'm uh, why I'm tipping over like that to the uh, to the left, but uh, that seems to be a thing. Maybe I need to uh, adjust the traction inside. Now it looks like we made it to the top of the mountain. Let's see what we can find up here. I guess we could also take a look at some of the other exocrafts. I know we have the mech. A lot of people um, love the mech, so let's see what kind of upgrades we can get on that. Um, and we have the roamer. Uh, we have the hovercraft, the colossus. We'll check them all out here. So yeah, mining's a lot better too. Um, real quick with this thing, and you got actual room in your exocrafts now to store stuff. 
Wow, here's an interesting bug. Look at that. If you are in the middle of mining and you jump out of your vehicle, the laser stays there. Huh. I wonder if it's actually on or if it's just a graphical bug. I guess we can uh, jump into it real quick. I don't think it will kill us if we do that. Just see if it's actually an active laser or if it's just a graphical glitch. Something we need to report to Zendesk. Yep, yeah, looks like a, a Zendesk bug, but uh, that's a thing. We'll try one more time because that's actually a storm crystal and you can't destroy that anyway. So let's uh, fire at the rock over here and we'll see if it destroys the rock when I get out of the vehicle. Nope, it would have been gone by now. So it's just a graphical bug. Huh, interesting though. Anyway, look how quick you can mine through these rocks now. Uh, and I only have one upgrade on my laser too. All right, so now we're over on the Minotaur. Um, the thing I found the best to upgrade on the Minotaur for supercharge slot is the left arm. Um, you get another 125 stun damage. You get um, like a, quite a bit of a boost in your mining laser damage. Um, so that's why I chose to upgrade the arm. And I'm just kind of reconfiguring everything. So that should give me a considerable boost in uh, power for mining. Um, and I don't think I really got much in the way of a cannon improvement. I think I might have upgraded one. But uh, it should be a lot more powerful. Um, I didn't see any practical way to actually boost the time that you're in the air because um, there doesn't seem to be any stats on that particular feature. Um, so when you put the ability to fly on the supercharged slot, I didn't notice any difference. So uh, the best thing to do is basically just upgrade your weapons on the Minotaur. Um, I did improve my fuel efficiency a little bit, but that was never an issue uh, to begin with. Uh, so hopefully it's just a little bit more powerful now that the arm's been upgraded uh, when it's uh, fighting. But uh, let's see. We'll uh, get in a fight here with the Sentinels now that I've upgraded my multi-tool to 28,000 and uh, also upgraded my uh, mech. And so let's see how quickly we can take these things out. Got some coming up. All right, Minotaur's attacking, and wow, it's really taking chunks out of them. I think that's more of a help than it used to be. Not sure who got it first there, but it looked like uh, the Minotaur vaporized that healer drone pretty quickly. But it might have been my shot, too, because I'm taking them out in one hit. All right. Now we're at the big guys. Fast forward a little bit um, and jumped into the mech just to see what kind of damage we do. And we're actually controlling the gun on it. And, yeah, it's uh, it's pretty good damage. I mean, it's not the 28,000 my multi-tool is, but if you're earlier in the game, uh, this would certainly be a really nice way to take out... Um, these sentinels. And the nice thing is too, it looks like it's doing splash damage, so even though I'm not hitting them for as much, I am uh, taking out their their neighbors. Wow, look how quick I'm taking down this mech. I think we got a healer drone on it. Let's see if we can find it. And even the uh, mech's taking a chunk out of that guy. He's down. One shot on the healer drones. Nice. Yeah, this is way more powerful than it used to be. Go and grab our upgrades real quick, and we'll go uh, hit up some more vehicles to upgrade. All right, we're going to head off the uh, snow planet here, and uh, we'll head over to the Sentinel Tower we just earned. Uh, but over there, we're going to go ahead and continue upgrading some of our different exocrafts and uh, seeing how they perform now that uh, the supercharged slots have arrived. And maybe we'll get a cool tool, too. All right, let's see. We'll go ahead and, uh, I think our mech's going to follow us here anyway, since it's in the same system. So as soon as we get out, it will probably appear. But uh, let's also grab our, our Sentinel guy. You know, I wonder if he's through your Sentinel pet, um, or whatever they call it. Um, I think he's got a name. I forget what it is, though. Uh, if he threw that on a supercharged slot, if it would damage for more. I haven't tried that, but uh, interesting thing to try out on your own. And it would be cool if you could uh, supercharge your pets too, but I'm just going to bring one out to check it out again. As uh, Bovin's finally grown up, he was a little runt not too long ago, and now he's a full-sized T-Rex. We'll see if there's any change in uh, if he hits something here uh, when we're fighting these Sentinels. So I don't think this will take very long, as I'm just going to uh, take the tower down by disarming it when I get to the control panel. 
but I will be interested to see how quickly I can take down one of those walkers uh, again. Even though we just uh, annihilated a couple of them. We'll do a more... What was that? Like a pirouette? <laughs> I think my dinosaur is dancing now. He's into eating creatures and uh, ballet. That's his forte now. Alright, so let's surround this walker and we'll get ready to attack you shortly. And I guess I'll go ahead and use a stun grenade too. That's another thing that got improved uh, too with the supercharged slots. If you end up getting an extra slot, I would recommend putting the uh, stun grenade, uh, which you, enhancement that usually gives you like 21% uh, improved damage and stun um, uh, to 50. So definitely, if you get a chance, do that as uh, that will really enhance your your weapon and strength too. All right, nice. So we got a couple stragglers here. We can take out real quickly. And uh, we'll go check out on the terminal here what's up. I guess we can uh, deactivate it, and if it has a decent weapon, maybe we'll grab that too. Though I do have kind of all the weapons I really need currently, so it would have to be pretty exceptional. Nope, just a B-class. All right, we'll go ahead and deactivate and log off. And uh, let's see, we still have a couple more to look at. We were going to check out the Roamer and the Colossus, so we'll go ahead and do that here shortly. But uh, yeah, I didn't even see Boven help that much. I think he's just mostly there for looks. But uh, the mech definitely a lot better now that uh, the supercharged slots are in play. I uh, didn't notice anything different on my little Sentinel pet, but uh, I might have to try to see if I can throw him on a supercharged slot and see if anything changes at some point. All right, so uh, on the rumor here, I'm going to move things around to give the boost the enhancement, even though the adjacency bonus won't be as good. Um, I noticed that the, the grips on the wheels and stuff uh, also are basically a bonus with the engine. So if you group those all together, uh, it should help your overall speed a little bit more as, uh, and a way to kind of patch things up if you don't have the direct adjacency bonus with your different S-Class upgrades. So we were able to boost one of the upgrades uh, to 43% and the other to 44% for speed. And yeah, I definitely notice it's faster. Uh, and then we are also able to boost the actual boost um, upgrade module as class two, which gave us a nice, uh, I think it was like 67% if I remember right. Um, so yeah, so this is a big improvement again to speed when we already had a pretty nice improvement uh, when they changed the way that the uh, tech upgrades work. So, wow, look at the airtime on this thing. Pretty nice. I would say this is definitely going to make Exocrafts uh, worth doing and using uh, over just riding pets and stuff now. Uh, as you can be mining and uh, getting places real quick at the same time. Wow, look at that air. <laughs> That's insane. Oh, and it stops so nice, too. The turning on this I love. All right, we'll grab our Knowledge Stone. And uh, let's see, I think I see a building... Yeah, out over there. So we'll head over that direction. And, uh... Man, look how quickly it's traversing the ground, too. So much better than they used to be. Alright, hitting bumps not too bad. And, uh, you can get a real sharp turn in if you need to. Pretty nice. Alright, coming down from top of the mountain, let's, uh... Let's see how our turning does when we get down here. Wow, look at that drift. That's amazing, and it's so fast, too. Yeah, big improvement, big improvement. Definitely going to be using the Rumor a lot more now, and uh, the Pilgrim. Those are my two favorites right now, I think, as far as uh, Exocrafts go. Let's do one more pass here. <laughs> look at that drift, that's insane. All right, we'll get out real quick, and uh, let's try the Colossus now. All right, so I had three uh, supercharged slots on this one, too. All my Exocrafts uh, so far have all had three supercharged slots. Same with your Exosuit tech upgrades. So, um, And I've checked multiple saves, and it seems to be the same on those. So for uh, Exosuit tech upgrades, again, only three. Uh, and for Exocrafts, only three. For ships and for freighters, uh, on S-Class, you get four. Uh, keep in mind, if you have an A, B, or C, um, they're going to have one less supercharged slots, respectively. 
So don't freak out if you get like a C-Class and it only has one supercharged slot on your uh, Starship. You just gotta work on upgrading it and eventually it will get all four. Uh, plus you have to unlock the slots most likely. Just like the other Exocrafts, the Colossus is also a big improvement. Um, I'll say that it drops like a rock though when you're going off a jump, uh, which makes me not like it quite as much as the Pilgrim and the Rumor uh, so far. Still need to try the Hovercraft. That might actually end up being my favorite. But I will say this, it is a big improvement and it makes the uh, Colossus actual, actually usable now in my opinion. Uh, what I really liked them to do with the Colossus would to actually make uh, it multiplayer um, so you could have extra seats in your Colossus so you could take some friends uh, across the planet and you could all pile into the same vehicle. Maybe like up to four different players in the same Colossus would be cool. I even think it'd be neat if they could have like a little interior space where a door opens up and you go inside and uh, like maybe your friend can be the gunner and you're the driver. I don't know, they need to do something with the Colossus. Alright, so uh, let's check out the hovercraft here. Um, just moving some stuff around basically to maximize my engine. And what I decided to do is to put uh, two of the S-Class upgrades on the super supercharged slots. And I'm just connecting things here uh, with this um, traction improvement. So it gives you 200% more forward grip. We'll go ahead and add that in. And also... Uh, um, uh, accent combination with the rest of it as a bonus. Uh, also gonna throw the uh, mining laser down there on the other supercharged slot, so that should be all three. And um, I think we're ready, so we're gonna go and put our upgrades on here for um, hazard protection. And seeing as I can only choose one, I'll go and take radiation for now, and we'll just keep the biohazard one in our uh, regular inventory if we need to switch it out uh, on a biohazard world uh, but I'd rather have the grip uh, as it bonuses my movement speed wow yeah this thing's much faster too much faster wow very nice ooh and I already like this the best I think because look it, it continues with the forward momentum off a jump it doesn't fall like a rock like the Colossus does uh, so this might actually be my new favorite exocraft right now. Uh, I mean, the roamer is a lot of fun, and so is the pilgrim. But yeah, this hovercraft is awesome. You know, the nomad definitely continues in the same direction um, off these jumps at the same rate of speed. So if you're trying to traverse a planet, plus it's not going to sink in water, so you can go right over water. Um, I think that the nomad might actually be the best uh, exocraft right now. Not sure what that was. Were those drones that basically just exploded and left their guts down here? Because I don't remember killing anything over here. But I saw little explosions. I don't know if you saw that. Huh. Interesting. Not sure. But we got some uh, some more glass upgrades. Um, wow. I still have this as green and black. That shows how long that uh, it's been since I've used this uh, this Exocraft. As, uh, I've changed all my other Exocrafts to blue and black. As I kind of changed my color scheme after... Sentinel update uh, as they're all blue by default and so I kind of wanted to match better with them so uh, let me flip it over and now we're totally up to date I'm definitely going to be using the Nomad more so uh, might as well get the color scheme right for my character but yeah laser is much better um, but yeah I love the drift on this off jumps so I definitely recommend if you have to just upgrade one exocraft check out the Nomad um, as it's now I think my favorite all right, um, I guess let's head back up um, and we'll take a look at the freighter. So um, for the freighter, I had two upgrade slots right next to each other. So I'm going to go ahead and use that for my uh, warping. Looks like this one from 800 to 1,000 light years. So it's a 25% improvement, which is nice. And then there's a 300 upgrade too uh, for light years. So we're going to put that there and that should give us like 375. Nice. So I got it all finished out, and we're at 4786.6. Uh, I think that's about as good as I can get right now. Uh, but yeah, that's a huge improvement over what I had before. I've been using the freighter pretty much exclusively for traversing around the Euclid or whatever um, galaxy I'm in. So um, 
It's not going to really change too much for me, but I am going to get a little bit more distance now, which is nice. The one thing I'll say is it's kind of hard to see these supercharged slots uh, when you're in the moment. So I'm kind of picking through here to try to find exactly what has them. Here it is. Uh, so Expedition Defense got a supercharged slot, which I'm fine with. I'm not going to change that. And then the Efficiency uh, got a supercharged slot for a total of four. So yeah, overall, really impressed with the update. Um, love the ExoCrafts improvements and the multi-tool and ship improvements. It's all really great stuff. Definitely recommend checking it out. Uh, if you guys would be so kind as to give me a thumbs up on the video, I'd certainly appreciate that. And hopefully this has been informative for you and helps you get your own stuff upgraded in No Man's Sky. Anyway, appreciate you guys watching. Uh, leave a comment if you like, and I'll see you guys real soon here on the Gamer Guy channel. Uh, later.